All right, welcome to Let's Play Prey, part two. I am Space Chief, and I have done some audio balancing, so things should be nicer to hear. And my controller is shaking like nobody's business. And then it stopped. That's so weird. Okay. So, if you recall last time, we thought that we were in our apartment, and it was the year 2032, and it turns out it's still the year 2032, I think, but we're not in our apartment. We're in a space station that was simulating our apartment. And apparently we've had our memory wiped at least a few times. Um, anyway, also there are really creepy, spooky-looking, freaky alien things running around. So that's cool. Oh, and something calling itself January told us that we need to go to our office and watch a video. We're going to go do that. To keep things running along smoothly, I'm not going to read through every single text unless I think it's worth narrating. There's a couple of pretty good ones, but I'll give you a summary for the most part of what the heck is going on. And I am going to listen to every audio log because those are worth listening to. Okay, yeah, we're in space. That's bad but at least they have good taste in furniture. Okay, video file up there. Um, all right, so far so good. Transtar exhibit. Yeah, what the heck is Transtar? Ooh. Oh dear. Um, I'm not doing anything, I'm just... Oh man, I want... There's a Neuromod in there, and I don't know if you remember from last time, Neuromods are cool, and I want it. Oh, not good. That's bad. Fortunately, we have some medkits. And we have food. Okay, so eating food gives you a teeny bit of health, and it even recharges your health a bit, because Transtar only uses organic ingredients that are, like, locally sourced from a hippie farm, so they're extra good, or something. Oh god, this is bad. I engaged this thing way too early. We're not ready yet. Okay. We'll come back and check out the exhibit later. For now, we're going to run. Snikes! Oh! Okay, there's our very first death. Crap. If I die too many times, I'm just going to, like, redo the recording so you guys don't have to watch me die over and over. But... It was good for you to see what happens if you completely screw up like I did. In other words, you shouldn't mess around with phantoms. Like that one. Maybe we'll come back and get that Neuromod later. Or, maybe we can solid snake our way through this. Hmm. Or we could just go. That's good. Going is good. Attention. Station leadership has issued an alert. All personnel should report to muster stations immediately and await further instructions. Yeah, that'd be nice. Turrets are good, I think. Drink some water. Um, fuck. Vital signs critical. I get how the mimics overran the state. Ah! Son of a bitch. Oh, awesome! <sighs> oh. In case you didn't catch that, somebody was smart enough to place a turret here. Okay. I got an idea. I want to see what's in that Transdar Museum.
I promise we'll move things along, but first, I really don't like that thing. Oh, shit! Oh, okay. Okay, bad idea. You know what? You get to see two deaths. This'll be, this'll be my dying, uh, my dying run so you can see how fragile things are. Next time, I won't just reload over and over again. Promise. See, it was even kind enough to start us out from when we discovered the fair. Alright, so we'll go check out the museum later. Maybe when, after we get a gun or something. Eat a banana. OMG hot boss. Nice. Real nice. Ha, okay. So I have to tell you something about this. In, Checking for one thing... Updates, oh, that's not good. In every one of this is a this is a giant love letter to Looking Glass Studios and to the Deus Ex series and System Shock series because in all of them the very first door you have to enter a key code has the code of either four five one or zero four five one or some other combination including four five one. Welcome back. This has been your home for the last three years. The video should hmm. be on your workstation. Well, that's us and mom and dad, I guess. Ooh. Weapon upgrade kit. That'll come in handy later. Teleconferencing key card. I sure did. Thanks, January. At some point, we dated a woman named Michaela Ilyushin, I guess, because she sent an email asking if we can talk. And this is this is a policy since apparently our mind is going to get wiped. Hmm. Well, maybe if you watch the video, it'll make more sense. Morgan. Tough day, right? If I'm talking to myself, it must be. Your memory's shot full of holes, I know. I'm sorry, but it's permanent. So the first thing you need to know is you can trust January. It's an operator, a sort of backup of you and me. It knows what you've forgotten. We've been testing a new kind of neuromod based on the Typhon organisms, mapping their neural patterns onto ours. Problem is, when you uninstall a Neuromod, it resets your memory back to the moment you first put it in. That's why you forget. There's supposed to be a process that brings you back up to speed between test runs, but someone could just skip that part, turn a single day into your entire life. Huh. Well, that's exactly what Alex did. The question is, why? You're not going to like what I have to say next. Oh, I thought I found every one of those damn videos. Sorry, but I can't let you listen to that. Not until I've had a chance to explain everything in person. For now, just... Damn it. I have to go. Just sit tight. Please. Nice to know what we're supposed to do. Sorry, Morgan. Alex cut us off from the Looking Glass servers. Time to improvise. I suggest you search Dr. Calvino's workshop in the hardware labs. He invented the Looking Glass technology. You might find a way to restore the server connections there. I'm looking for another way to help you in the meantime. Good luck. 
All right, so our next objective is to go down to the hardware labs. Before I go do that, I want to show you something cool. So what separates this from a lot of other, like, FPSs with RPG elements is, oh, a bunch of crap, is that picking up everything is actually, like, it does something. So, okay, this is the recycler. Here's a bin, and here's all the crap I've been picking up. I can have it automatically insert and organize my inventory like inventory Tetris. And then it tells me, if I push the button, what I'm going to get. There are four kinds of elements. Plants, metals, synthetic, and exotic. Ooh. Everything gets kind of blown away. And look at that. We have a whole bunch of raw materials we can work with. Then we take them over to this fun thingy. This is basically a, a 3D printer in the near, like, 20-ish years from now. 10-ish years from now. Right now, we can only make a couple of things. A canister for our glue gun and a wrench, which we already have anyway. But the point is, we're going to get a lot of recipes, and we can make all kinds of stuff with this thing out of crap that we pick up all over the game. So, yeah, let's go down there. Can I not can I open this? Oh, I guess not. Okay. There's a locker, and I can't open it. So, I got plants. I can stick those back in the thingy if I want. As far as I know, I can't recycle these speakers, so I'm just going to let them play some relaxing music instead. Yeah, so this is... Every so often we get some books that give us hints into the backstory of the game. We're effectively in an alternate universe where the space race never stopped. Like, it just, like, all of our technology kept focusing on better, bigger and better rockets and space travel, and things like computers and electronics kind of lagged behind. That's why you might have noticed, like, circuit boards sticking out, or giant spindly hard drives and stuff like that. Probably why everything has kind of an Art Deco feel, too. Oh, no, you don't. Final signs critical. Oh, come on. Varmint? Whew. Okay, I still want to get in that freaking museum. I'm just going to be very careful about how we do it this time. Poor Laura. We don't have a key card at the trauma center, but we'll get in there later. And also, those doors, that door is super broken. Not much we can do there. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Set up a tur- oh shit. Good morning, Talos. All personnel should report to their workstations for the day. Dagnabbit. If you All expect right, fine, to be absent fine. for any reason, please inform your immediate supervisor. We'll come back later. That museum is, or that thing is basically like a museum of, like, future, present, history, whatever. <laughs> oh, come on! Uh, Alright, you know the drill. I promise this won't happen next time. Okay, did we forget anything? No. So I'm gonna take my turret, not get blown up, or killed, or murdered by a mimic. <laughs> Material. Eradicator auto turret version 0.7.6. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. 
Hey, that's a gun. Oh, that's not a gun. Crap. <laughs> I already forgot. <laughs> All right. Is that a gun? I don't know. Let's hit it with a wrench first. Okay, it's a gun. Okay, this is as good a time as any to show you what a weapon modification kit does. Oh, back in the menu. We can only upgrade it so much because we have to have a better upgrade skill, like an engineering skill, which means we have to use more neuromods. For now, I'm going to give it the firepower one. Yeah, because it kind of sucks. <laughs> Meanwhile, let's see. We can get more wrenchy. That's cool. We can get more fixy. We can get more healthy. We can get more sneaky. For the time being, I kind of want this. And this. Well, uh, we'll work on repairing stuff. There's a lot to repair. Okay, teleconferencing, etc. I don't want to use the cigar, but I could recycle it. No, oh, maybe I do want to use cigar. So you know that rule about picking up everything you can and taking it with you because you never know when you're going to need it? In this case, you can literally turn it into ammunition or into whatever you want. Oh. All right, where are you? Come on out. Okay. Hey. Okay, they're the hardware labs. We'll use to go. Okay. Also, you do triple damage for some reason if you shoot a mimic while it's still uh, mimicked. Don't trust anything like that. Don't trust that or that box. what? Fine. We'll let Sleeping Mimics lie. In the meantime, you can tell they tried to barricade this place because it's all shot up with glue. Maybe in the hardware labs we can find some fun hardware. Who knows? So yeah, even though this game wasn't designed by, or wasn't made by the same people who did the System Shock or Bioshock series, it's definitely meant to be like a spiritual successor or a fan letter or whatever you want to call it. Especially because we're in a place where things are weird and try to kill us. But there's a lot of death. They've shut down the main reactor. They'll force us to work in the spice mines for sure. Uh, okay. So that's bad. So that's what happens when one of the Typhon takes over an operator. Now we're just going to sneak around it, because I am very paranoid. Hmm. Well, the long and short of it is that the United States pulled out of the space race a little bit in this alternate universe. Oh, also, in this alternate universe, Kennedy was not assassinated. 
that a... Is that a guy? I think there's a body out there. Asteroid fragment. Uh, some goop. I have a hunch that I can find some uh, nice upgrades or stuff in here. I'm gonna lock the door. Do, 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 do. Okay, we can get a map in here. All right. And we can get more guns. And let's see, what was his name? Calvino. Lorenzo Calvino. We can track him down. These security stations let you track down missing people if you need to find them, and it tells you whether or not somebody is alive or dead. There are survivors on this station, at least if the security computer is to be believed. Ah, oh, crap. The atrium to the labs is locked. You could look for the keycard. But there are probably other ways in. And you've always been good at improvising. I'm curious what you'll do. I think I know, but... We'll see. Yeah, whatever. That's right, eat it. Let's not do that again. There's a living person. And that's a good use of the video game. Oh, well, it was a good use of the video game. Oh, dear. All right, sneaky way in, but I missed some stuff up here. We'll climb. You might have noticed that phantom had a name. Um, sometimes these things, um, well, I guess you'll just have to see, but it's, it's weird. Oh, hey, you know you're not supposed to bring snacks into the theater. Now here's the real use of the glue gun. Flame retardant, it's sticky, you know. That could come in handy. We got ourselves an EMP. I don't know how we're doing on time, but I want to just get to go to Dr. Calvino's lab. Not surprising. You found another way in. Well done. A lot of the station tech starts here. Lab equipment, special parts requests, prototypes. We should be able to fix your looking glass terminal from Dr. Calvino's workshop. Calvino probably has a key card. You can locate him, or what's left of him, with the security roster. Yeah, we are already on trip. We were already tracking him. Whoop. Whoa. Also, I'll point out right now, oh, A, we don't want to get zapped, and B, phantoms take a lot of ammunition, and I don't want to waste ammo right now. When we upgrade the pistol a bit, that'll be 
helpful. Okay, we'll just, just leave that for now. Either way, we need to find out how to get there. Langley, are you a... Is there anything weird going on over there? No, like what? I don't want you to panic. What is going on, Langley? Not sure yet. Yeah, Langley. Security's running all over the place. So, everyone's still working there? I guess, I don't know. I've been in the lab all day, hang on. I'm looking now. I don't... What was that? Oh my god, I think we just lost two labs. What? I have to go. Requesting new operator. Transfer well, pyramid. Maybe I can help you. Zero medical class operator ready to deploy. Diagnosing bruising, abrasions, fatigue. Nothing like I'll have you feeling better soon. Good as new. Nice. Don't forget to complete a patient questionnaire. Your feedback will be invaluable. Diagnosing. No trauma or illnesses detected. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do for you. Unless wonder, you're interested uh, in medical trivia. Or a joke. What would a real medical professional think of this floating doctor My mistake. Bot, I wonder. You know the saying. An ounce of prevention. Mm -hmm. And? Come on. Did you know the human body can survive for 30 minutes without a blood supply? Not really. I made that up. Was that funny? I'm programmed to optimize my bedside manner by trial and error. Okay, then. The Last Frontiers. The Last Frontier is the human mind, and we are its pioneers. William Yu. Thanks, Dad. Okay, this should be where Dr. Tommy is. Uh, oh. That side of the lab was breached. Hard vacuum, no gravity. There's an exterior airlock in the machine shop you could use to reach him. You'll have to upgrade your suit with a pro oh, sorry, one second. Pulsion system first. Okay. We need to get ourselves a space jetpack and then we can go get Dr. Calvino. Well, what's left of him out there in space. Check out this secret package. Okay, one of these is real and the other is not. Get everything. Yep, that's right. That's what I thought. Okay. At this point, mimics aren't so bad. It's their big brother for phantom that we have to worry about. And now we're in the machine shop. We have enough range. Maybe if I bother this guy, we can knock him down. Suit got wrecked. Fortunately, we have a patch kit. Uh, no, that's not how you use it. That's how you use it. Okay. 
Uh, huh. So that said Q-beam cells. I don't know what a Q-beam is. Oh, oh, that's not that's still alive. Oh, oh come on. Not while I'm reloading with the Q-beam. seal you'll have to disengage before you can spacewalk. While engineered as a safety measure, it's irrelevant when the enemy is already inside the station. If you do go out there, no I wouldn't stray far. The Typhon may have spread to the exterior. And remember, other airlocks you find will have to be open from the inside first. Last thing, you don't have a propulsion system for your suit yet. You'll need one to maneuver. Okay, so that's all right. Oh yeah, here's the uniform guy, just FYI. The Transtar uniform is not just a uniform, it's also a spacesuit. And brown and black are corporate, green and white are science and tech, orange is engineering and maintenance, blue and black is security. Ours is brown and black, I think. Okay. We were developing a new gun. There's a satellite they were working on that has something to do with psychotronics, but it's not done yet. Okay, well here's a bunch of stuff. Here's the recycler. Drop a bunch of crap from our inventory. It's like a little Christmas. Let's make ourselves a jetpack and bullets. A jetpack and bullets. We're like the Rocketeer. ammunition. Okay, so I'll just say it flat out in case you haven't picked up on it yet. Oh, there's radiation in here. Assassin's League. Hmm. And there's an arboretum on this station somewhere. Okay, so I'll just say it flat out. The engineers in this place designed their own Nerf gun, and we can get it, and we can use it, and that probably sounds dumb, except that we can use it to, like, open doors and scare monsters or whatever. There, there's a lot of reasons to use it, but we're not going to get one now because that'd be kind of a waste. We are going to jump over to that platform, though. Okay. Also, the jetpack lets you glide a little bit but it kind of sucks. Let's go out in space. man, we're already at 35 minutes. Okay. Not that that's bad. I just... Man. Okay. This is going to be a little bit longer, because I really want to go rescue Dr. Calvino. Well, I mean, rescue his key card. Talos 1 orbits the moon some 385,000 kilometers away from Earth. At 832 meters long, Talos 1 is the largest structure... Whatever. I'm not reading that. Talos 1 is big. Talos 1 is far from the Earth. Talos? Talos? I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Different people seem to say it different ways. Microgravity detected. Well, we 
we're in space. Where do we need to go? Well, there's a way we could get into psychotronics, and there's a corpse. And there's Dr. Calvino, I think. Do we have a boost? We do have a boost. The first time I played this, I didn't know about the boost, and I was really scared every time I went out in space, because it took forever to get anywhere. This? Oh, we can't fix it yet. Got his transcribe. And more neural mods. You found him. Not surprising. Well done. One more thing. We can't get repair to yet. So this is just going to have to be exposed to vacuum for now. And we're going to have to save up on our neuromods. That's okay. Mio, this is Dr. Calvino. What's up? I'm feeling ill. I, not myself today. I think I won't be in for my shift at all. Okay. Do you still want me to finish this array? I fabricated a shit ton of glass. Array? I don't recall. You asked me to set up a new array. You must have misunderstood. Uh, are you... <laughs> Honestly, I prefer if you left my experiments alone in my absence. Uh, well, look, I have a message you left me. Seriously, I would not have made all of this if you hadn't... No, no, of course. I, uh, I remember now. Uh, let's just, uh, for the time being... Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter? Uh, let's talk about it tomorrow. Mio, uh, this is, um, this is Dr. Calvino. Ah, well, I suppose you've turned in, uh, or you're ignoring me. I, I just want to... Well, I, I will be a little late for my shift tomorrow, but, um... Uh, the, the first thing in the morning, I want you to put together a new micro-lens array. You see, the, the old one is... it's garbage. And uh, get what you need from the machine shop. And, and if Clive is being an ass, just take it from the supply closet when he's not looking. Uh, we're not supposed to know the code, but, uh, well, uh, I'm sending it to you anyway. Right on, Doc. Also, in case you haven't guessed, the looking glass is this really cool visual contraption they have. Something that's pretty much a flat plate of glass that can emulate a complete an environment with depth and all that good stuff. Also, that's how they fool us into thinking that we actually had a back patio on our apartment when we did jerks. Okay. My microphone is dying and we're being hunted by bad things. So next time on Let's Play Prey, we're going to go and see the rest of that video, and then we're going to explore more areas we're not supposed to get into. See you later.